Okay, in this video we're going to talk about changing the color of a text item or changing the color of something at uh, runtime. And so one of the things that's an important concept in Oracle Forms is the concept of a visual attribute. Um, when you go to change the, the color of an item within Forms, you, you don't actually go to it and say, I want to set the foreground color to white and the background color to blue. You assign a visual attribute to the item. Now visual, visual attributes are very useful because it's very rare that you're going to want to do only something to one field. So what you do is you create a visual attribute and then you can set that visual, you can set any item in the um, in your form to that visual attribute. So I'm going to go to visual attributes and I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to create a visual attribute that I'm going to call it my underscore blue. And what that's going to be is it's going to be a blue background with white text. So I double click on that and it brings up the property palette. So I want my foreground color to be white. I want my background color to be blue. And I've got no fill pattern. Now I can also set things like my font name. So maybe uh, I want it to also, I want to use a 12 point font at the same time as I change the color. Okay, and I want it to be bold. Okay, so I'm creating this attribute that is going to be assigned to this item at runtime. So now I've created a visual attribute called my blue. Maybe I want to create another one and I'll call this one my red. And it's going to be, um, let's see here, we're going to call it my red and it's going to have a uh, foreground color of black Oop. the foreground color of black and a background color of red okay so now I have two visual attributes I have my blue and my red so now what we're going to do is we're going to set the the color of emp name um, to blue or red based on the value of emp no. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to put a trigger I'm going, to put a, I'm going to go to Smart Triggers, and I'm going to put a When Validate Item Trigger on here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, if emp no is greater than 10, then set item property, which is how I change the property of an item. And I'm going to say emp dot emp name. and I put that in single quotes and then the name of the property that I want to change which in this case is visual attribute now you're gonna find that the set item property is an extremely important function and it's something that you're gonna use a lot and so if it's greater than 10 it's gonna to go to my blue else which means if it's 10 or less I'm gonna do set item property I'll spell property right on this one and you notice I'm this is not case sensitive I just have a tendency to like to make my variable names in uppercase and my function names in lowercase um, but that's not mandatory So what I've done here is I said if employee number empno is greater than 10, I'm going to set it to the um, visual attribute of the name field to my blue. If it's otherwise, I'm going to set it to my red. So I'm going to compile this and now let me run my Okay, so now I've got my form up and running and I'm going to go to the empno field and I'm going to put it on a 5 and it made my field red and with a black text and now I'm gonna go up here and I put in 20 now remember not only did I change the I changed the visual attribute not only to change the color but also to change the font size so let's see how this looks so when I type in 20 um, it not only changed the background to blue and the font to white it actually changed it to a different uh, font size. So that's, but that's the concept. The concept is using set item property and visual attributes to change the way things look on the screen at runtime. 